In this Blender tutorial, we are going to model a chair. And in the next part, we will create its product animation as like this. The reference image link is in the description box. Please check it out. Hi there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. And without further ado, let's get started. This is your 3D viewport. You need to open the image editor in one panel. And then you need to open your reference image in it. I have made the collage of the reference images so it will be more easier for me to use them. You can create this kind of collage in Photoshop. Then you need to bring the side view of the model in the viewport. Then you can use the cube add there to give the right proportions to this image because we don't have the accurate scale for the model. Then open the property editor and decrease the opacity of the reference image. Then you need to add one plane add there and you need to rotate this plane in this way. Ok, now just you need to scale it down and give the right position to it. Adjust the scale then go to the rate mode and select the words and move them in this way. Here just you need to trace this reference image and you need to create the basic 2D block out add there for the chair. You can use the simple transform operations add there and extrude tool to create that basic block out. So you can select the words and you can extrude them in this way and then just move them. You don't need to worry about the curve shift, just you need to create a basic 2D block out add there. After that you need to apply the scale on the model and then go to the edit mode, select the words and then Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add a 4 segment bevel as like this and just try to match the fillet form add there. Now just you need to select the words and you need to create that curved structure and it's very easy. Easily you can create this kind of curve fillet forms for the chair. Now we will get this silhouette for the model which looks really well and we have tried to match it properly. Now we need to create the right topology on it. So just select the words, right click, connect vertex path and create that right topology. It is not a difficult thing, just you need to observe the process carefully. Easily you can create this kind of topology. So just select the words, right click, connect vertex path and dissolve the unnecessary edges at there and just try to maintain the good shape on the model. You can use the knife tool wherever it's necessary and with the help of knife tool you can create that topology. Now you can see we got this kind of loop structure. Here also I need to create the right topology. So you can add the loop cuts and then connect these words. Now that's look good. So you can see the loop structure sat there which we have created. And now just you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the proper loop structure add there. Around these borders because we are going to use the subd modifier and to maintain that form we should have this kind of loop structure you can create this kind of loop structure at the first place or you can create this kind of loop structure after giving its 3d form also it's total depend on you you can use any way so just use the knife tool and create that loop structure and just give the right position to the words Then use the insert edge loop and add a loop cuts like this to maintain the good form. And now you can see that looks really well. We have created the right topology add there. Now just we need to add a little bit of thickness on it to give its 3D form. You can select the object and shift D to duplicate it and make a backup. Then go to the edit mode and select everything and then E to extrude it and move it along the X axis. Just add a little bit of thickness on it. Then shade smooth it. Now you can see that looks really well. Now just I want to create a little bit of fillet form add there on the border. You can see that in a reference image. First you need to apply the scale and then select these edge loops and then Ctrl B add bevel on them. You need to add a 2 segment bevel add there and give the right bevel width. Then you need to use the edge slide add there to give the right position to these edges because at the first place we have created that loop structure. Uh, now these edges are overlapping to each other so that's why just we need to use the edge slide and we need to give the right position to these edge loops. 
so we will get a smooth shading on the model. It's not that complicated thing. That's why I said that you can create this kind of loop structure at the first phase, means in a 2D shape, or you can create this kind of loop structure after giving its 3D form. It's totally depend on you, you can use any way. So here I'm just trying to give the right position to these edge loops with the help of edge slide. And then you can add the center loop cut like this and then set the origin to the geometry and then select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the x-axis and now you can see we got a decent looking form at there just we need to create the right topology at here at the bottom side so just select these words right click connect vertex path Then you can select these faces with the shortest path selection and use the insert operation. Then add few more support loop cuts like this. Now just need to open the property panel and you need to go to the modifier tab and add a sub D modifier on it. And increase it count up to 2. And now you can see we are getting the smooth model add there. That looks really well. Just turn off that auto smooth. And now just we want to add more details on it and we need to achieve the decent looking results at there as per the reference image. So now you need to add few more loop cuts like this. So just control R and add few loop cuts like this on the model. And now that's look good. Then go to the edit mode and then you can add the edge loops like this to maintain the good harder edges at there and to achieve the decent looking results as per the reference image. It is not a difficult thing, just observe the reference image carefully and just try to add those details. Now you can see that looks really well, just add a few more edge loops like this. Then just move this part along the x-axis and then shift D to duplicate it and move it along the x-axis. Now we got these two legs for the chair, just give them right position and now that's look good. Now just I will create the remaining part of the chair which is very easy. Just you need to go to the edit mode, select these faces, then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make it different object. Then turn off that sub D modifier and just try to give the basic block out to it. That's why you can adjust the position of the words little bit. Then select everything and then E to extrude it and move it along the X axis. And just create that back jointer add there, those wooden plates. After giving the right position, just isolate the object and now just need to add few more loop cuts on it to maintain the good topology and to maintain its form. So add the support to loop cuts like this. Now that's look good, just select that object and shift D to duplicate it and move it. And just try to create that back panel, that back part of the chair. Then shift D to duplicate it and create the front jointer, just to work on it a little bit to give the right proportions to it. And then one more time shift D to duplicate it and create that back jointer. Now what's remain? Just we need to create the base at there. So you can use that first object and you can easily work on it to create that base part for the chair. Just you need to give the right scale to these words and then just start to adjust its proportions a little bit and then use the extrude operation and use the move tool and rotate tool to create that simple form at there. These transform tools will help you to create this kind of simple simple models. Now just adjust its proportions little bit, just try to refine the model as much as you can and try to achieve the decent looking results. And now you can see we have created this kind of chair which looks really well. In this way you can create this kind of simple looking chair without any proper accurate proportions, accurate measurements. Just you need to take few reference images and you can start to work on it. Yeah, you can't use this kind of chair for the industrial design but you can use this kind of chair in the production like animation or game production, anything. Just need to adjust its proportions a little bit and you are ready to use it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So, next video, take care.